Hello, howdy, welcome back to another episode of the Levi Grant Show. I'm not sure exactly what this video is going to entail, but let's just do this thing. Oh man, it's been a while since I've actually vlogged. Okay, so, uh, hi, hello. I know that I said my next video would be getting uploaded in March, but I'm pulling the sneaky on you. There has been enough change in my life that I feel like it is deserving of its own little video. So, here we go. Welcome to my beautiful apartment. Uh, where there is amazing things like a futon and a desk that I built and put together and it works for its intended purpose. I moved out to Colorado Springs, Colorado. It is gorgeous here. We just got, I think it was like four or five inches of snow last night. It was really cool, but yeah, it's it's just melting away like crazy. Yeah, I, so I have been here about a month. I have been working over at Andrew Womack Ministries up in Woodland Park. It's essentially my dream job at this point. My overall dream is that I would love to open up my own like graphic design shop or like my own like marketing shop so that I can help people build stuff all the time. But right now, just starting out, get like out of college, What's a job that I can spend a couple of years at? This job is perfect. I love it. I am the digital content creator, so I'm doing lots of cool stuff on Instagram, and Facebook, and just things that are going out for like emails or getting stuff put on, put on YouTube. One of my favorite things that I'm getting to work on is there is a division in the ministry that focuses on aquaponics. So there's a lot of these mission there's a lot of these mission trips that go out to Africa where there's not a lot of water or not a lot of clean water that people can use, and so they're developing these aquaponic systems so that these uh, so that these villages can have clean water. It's awesome, and I've, I've got to take a couple pictures for it. And the way that it was making it sound is that we're gonna need, uh, like, in the future, like more pictures, video, put together like websites, probably start like a couple of social media campaigns. And I'm excited. I'm very excited to get get to do that. It's gonna be awesome. So to break down what this video is, is I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of my apartment, what it looks like, uh, what I call the bachelor pad. I sent a couple of pictures to my old boss, Larry, and he says, dude, you need furniture. I'm like, furniture? I got a futon, it, it works. I got a couch. I got a, I got a place, I'm good. But yeah, let's go take a tour. Front door whenever you come in. Got the shoes over there for, you know, just other stuff. On the other side, there's like the house slippers. You know, I can wear them inside the house when my feet are cold, but you know. Yeah, I don't really wear them. Bam! The living area. Here is the amazing spot where I, you know, sit and eat and play games and occasionally nap whenever I'm, you know, feeling nappy. Got Owen's little cushion area over here. He rarely uses it. Pretty much the only time he uses it is when I'm all sprawled out on the futon here because he just, you know, he takes everything I own. Got the setup here, got the TV, got the monitor, got the other monitor, got the computer and the other junk and all that garbage. It's all set up, ready to go for gaming and fun times. Cool, so yeah, right across from here, we have the kitchen area. This kitchen area is a lot bigger than the one that I had in Oklahoma. It definitely does feel like I have a little bit more room here. I definitely feel like I have a lot more countertop space. Only problem I have with this is that I guess they made these for giants because, well, not that one, but my goodness, I... <sighs> Gotta stand on my tippy toes to get up there. Got a gas powered stove, so that's nice. Got my Instant Pot, which is like my new favorite thing of all time. Oh my goodness, if you do not have an Instant Pot, please get an Instant Pot. This is like the greatest thing to ever come into the kitchen since the toaster oven. Got him. This is some pizza that we had at work and I stole the leftovers. Bookshelf with all my nerd stuff on it, you know, like uh, movies and then D&D stuff. Just extra random garbage, books, and then tools. This is essentially, okay, so this area over here is like my living, gaming, watching TV, boring area stuff. Owen, are you okay? You look really sad. But yeah, this is like the area where I relax and have fun and de-stress. I have essentially made this area here a no work area. This area here is like, there's no, there's no work to be done here. Anything that is done with my job or anything cannot be done in this, like it past this threshold. It can be done over there at the work desk. My work was very kind enough to get me a laptop and then they said that laptop's not good enough and so they made me switch with my boss and they gave me this laptop. This thing is a beast, oh my goodness. 
So past here we have this little hallway here, uh, or this here is a linen closet, but, well, I use it for a pantry. <laughs> yeah. Close that. Over here we have another closet. I use this for all of my, oh my goodness, so dark. So here uh, I have like all my winter clothes and stuff, uh, just like coats and sweaters and uh, like essentially anything that's like a heavy coat that's not that one. Air mattress, uh, this is my cool Pikachu hat that I never wear but I still love it. There's Owen's food and there's the vacuum. So, yeah. And now everyone's favorite part, the bathroom. Oh my gosh, look at it, it's so wonderful. That's not the same shirt you were wearing like 30 seconds ago. Uh, this is the bathroom, it's uh, it's definitely not as long but it's a lot wider and I appreciate that a lot. Still got my sweet side mirror, I'm very happy about that. I love having this like side mirror here. <sighs> Has a lot more, and this one actually closes. Do you remember the other one? You remember the other one in Oklahoma, it was like it, it, like it wouldn't fully close, you had to like lightly touch it. Oh, it was horrible. But this one, like it just like, boom, closes. It's great, I love it. And now we cross over here into the bedroom. Got my hamper full of clothes. Uh, those are my pajamas that I didn't put away. This is the dog again. He just won't leave me alone. I'm putting you up for adoption Owen. Anybody that wants the dog can take him. So bed, window so I can see how late I am for work. And here is one closet. This is the closet I use for all of my work stuff. So I have dress shirts, purple color with like a nice pattern to it. I have my one polo, probably need more polos. Uh, I got my four vests, I definitely need more vests. And then like my actual suit and super fancy dress clothes. My belt, two of my three khakis, all of my clean dress shirts, or all of my clean shirts. I pretty much just call these ones that don't have any graphics on them. And over here are my rack of ties. And then on the other side of the room is another closet. Really? Yeah. There's where Owen's cage that is never used because I never crate him. You are so spoiled. Do you know that? Open this one up. This is my like, I wouldn't say ugly shirts, but just like things that I don't wear to work. I'm starting to like, you know, kind of question, question all of this. Oh, like those are pajamas, but these are blue jeans and those are shoes I never wear. It's like, I really don't need very many of these anymore. The dresser here is like full of shirts with like stuff on them and it's like, I never really get to wear these pajamas and, oh not pajamas, uh, workout apparel and uh, bathing suit. And what is this? Oh yeah, those are my essentially pajamas and uh, bed sheets. My favorite thing about where I live is up here. I put all these different mementos that I have uh, gathered throughout my life and uh, stuck them up there, which is awesome. Yes, sir. Yeah, I also got this sweet porch that I can hang out on. It's really nice. Uh, I need to get some chairs. This is my bonsai tree getting getting all the sunlight it needs. It's not doing super well, but it's got like some green in it. All right, all right, I guess we'll just end with Pitt State Trash Can. Yeah!